Good morning. I am Dr. Jyoti Kumar. Today we will discuss about uh, case in database management system. Keys play an important role in the relational database. It is used to uniquely identify any record or rows of data from the table. It is also used to establish and identify relationship between table. For example, uh, in student table, ID is used as a key because it is unique for each student. In person table, passport number, license number, SSN number or uh, keys since they are uh, unique for each person. Different types of keys in database management system. One is a primary key, the next one is a candidate key, other one is a super key and the next one is a foreign key. Here, we have a student database and we have a, one more database called as a person database. In student database, I have uh, an attribute ID, name, address, and the course. Here, ID is unique for each and every student, so that uh, this should be the key here from the student database. Coming to the person database, I have name, date of birth, passport number, license, and SSN number. Even passport number, license number, and SSN number are the unique keys, even when compared with the name and database. I mean, sorry, name and uh, Primary key, it is the first key which is used to identify one and only one instance of an entity uniquely. An entity can contain some multiple keys as we saw in person table. The key which is most suitable for those list became a primary key. In the employee table, ID can be a primary key since it is unique for each employee. In the employee table, we can even select a license number and passport number as a primary key since they are also unique. For each entity, select a primary key is based on the requirement and the developers. Here is the example employees database and I have employee ID, employee name, employee address, passport number, license number and SSN number. The employee ID is a unique key for this particular employee. And as well, we can also choose a few unique keys that refers as a passport number, license number, and SSN number. Coming to the candidate key. Candidate key is an attribute or a set of attributes which can uniquely identify a tuple. Remaining attributes except for a primary key are considered as a candidate key. The candidate key are as strong as primary key. For example, in the employee table, ID is the best suited for a primary key. The rest of the attributes like SSN number, passport number, and license number, etc. are considered as a candidate key. Here is the example. As I mentioned earlier, even passport number, license number, and SSN number should be used to identify a particular uh, uh, record in a table. So, I, I can possibly include these three attributes so I can refer it as a candidate key for identifying a particular tuple. Coming to the super key. Super key is a set of attributes which can uniquely identify a tuple. Super key is a super set of a candidate key that is more important. Super key is a super set of candidate key. So super key includes the candidate key. Example, in the above employee table, for employee ID, employee name, passport number, license number, the name of two employees can be same, but their employee ID, passport number, license number cannot be the same. Hence, this combination can also be a key. Super key of employee table would be employee ID, employee name, passport number, and uh, license number. Coming to the foreign key, in a simple term, foreign key or the column of a table 
which is used to point out the primary key of the another table. In a company, every employee works in a specific de department and the employee and the department are uh, different entities. So we cannot store the information of uh, the department in the employee table. That's why we link these two tables through the primary key of one table. By adding the primary key of uh, department table, department ID as a new attribute in the employee table. This is the example. I have an employee table and I have a department table. Here, uh, employee ID, employee name, uh, passport number, license, SS number, and the department ID are the attributes. And the employee ID is the primary key here in the employee table. Coming to the department uh, table, I have a department ID and department number. So, department ID is the primary key of the department table but and this is all this is referred from uh, the employee table and so it is called as a foreign key thank you